In this video, we're going to focus on how we can show or hide the X scale label here, depending on our checkbox. So when we uncheck it, it hides, and when we check it, it shows it again. So let's start to look how to show and hide labels on click. First of all, make sure you have the boiler template, and this boiler template can be found here on chartjs3.com getting started. Once you're on here, scroll down and copy this chunk of code here. Next, if you want to support the channel and get many of the source codes of many of my videos, check out this Patreon page, patreon.com slash chartjs. All right, what we're going to do here is we're going to scroll down and first of all, I want to hide by default the scale or more specifically the labels in here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to say the X scale, put a comma here and I will say just here, display equals false, save, refresh, and now you can see here it's hidden. What I want to do now is activate it with a checkbox. So I'm going to scroll up here. And then here, just below the canvas, I'm going to say here, uh, input, and the type will be equal checkbox. And then we can say here maybe the ID, um, show labels, and then I guess we can do here an on click. And if we have an on click, we want to trigger a specific function, and I guess, the show labels function is a nice term and the reference will be like this. So once I save this, refresh, you can see here now it is not checked. Well, let's make this checked. And then checked equals checked. Save that. There we are. So when it's checked, I guess we can just put this here on true display. True. There we are. Now, what I want to do is I want to make sure that when we click on this, this will trigger. So, because we already have a function built in, all that we can do here is just say here, function, show labels. Then we're going to say here, the checkbox, which is basically the reference that we have here above. Uh, that's this one here, the show labels, this. And then what we can do in here is we're going to start to work with the console log, just show here, checkbox. And if I save that, refresh, open up the developer tab and then select on this, you can see here we get the reference that we want. So what I want to do now is I want to say here dot checked to see if it's true or false, if it is being checked. And as you can see here, this works. All right, now what I want to do is I want to make sure that we update this item here. If it's checked, display true. If it's unchecked, display false. To do that, I'm going to create an if statement. I'm going to say if checkbox.checked equals true. In that case, what I want to do is I want to update this here, the display on and set this on true. So I'm going to say here my chart because I'm going to do the chart object. Then we go into the config and from config to options, scales, x, display. My chart dot config dot uh, options dot scales dot x dot display and we can say this is equals true next what i want to do is if this is not the case else we can set this on false once we have this ready i want to make sure that we update the chart so i want to say in my chart which is the chart object dot update to update and redraw the chart based on our setting so now if I click on this, as you can see here, it redraws it and it will show or hide the labels nicely. 